Hi guys, welcome back to Boil Snail. Welcome back to the Oregon coast. We want to continue talking about Glacier. If you are interested in Glacier, check out our last video, which covers um, the West Glacier KOA a little bit, some of the Going to the Sun Road, and... A raptor show. A raptor show and a trip to Lake McDonald. Yes. Okay. But We're where gonna are we going? go hike the Avalanche Lake slash something or other trail. Trail of the Cedars. Yes. So the Cedar Trail was nice, it was shady, um, level, boardwalk, I mean... Uh, trail of the Cedars is an accessible trail. Um, I enjoyed the haikus on the informational sign along the way. The boys enjoyed balancing on the edge of the Cedar Boardwalk and it followed a river. It was lovely. And then, and that was about a mile, that loop was about a mile, yeah. Um, and then we got to the turnoff for the Avalanche Lake Trail and it just went straight uphill. It really did. And that was a good hike. Well, it was, it was mostly shaded. Uh-huh. It was a lot, of, a lot of uphill on the way out. And then on the way back, it was more downhill than uphill. But I really liked that none of it was especially technical. It was just like easy. Uh, if you can climb a hill, you can do this. Right. I think it is one of the more popular trails at... Glacier National yeah, Park. Yeah, and I think that was the most crowded trail we had seen so far on this entire trip. And they had a great reveal as you walk up the trail. Yes. Um, you decided to walk off the trail earlier in a little, I guess, more technical area. I decided to look for a less technical way out. You but say technical, but you mean muddy. <laughs> I didn't want to walk through the mud. Yeah. Yes. You missed our most dangerous animal encounter. So along the shore of the lake, it was pretty busy and there was a deer coming out of the uh, bushes and the deer was a little nervous and so it was actually a, it was it was a creature that needed to be respected and a bunch of people and me included as you'll see in the footage got, were, were filming the deer because we were very close to it and the the deer got between me and the boys and the deer was moving towards the boys so uh, I started to feel uncomfortable and I said Noah stand up slowly and Noah said I don't know how to stand up slowly <laughs> <laughs> He's got one speed, and that speed scared the deer off. Um, but then once we, we sat down at the lake, uh, I think the boys wanted to get their feet in, so they, they got in first. Uh-huh. And then both of us tried to get our feet in. Yeah. We but, heard how cold it was, and we couldn't resist. Think 40, 35. It was chilly. Um, it was bearable. Mm -hmm. um, Noah wanted to be the one who held his feet in the longest. I think he went more than 10 minutes. He did. I would say Avalanche Lake is not to be missed. Yeah, I would be disappointed if I found out that it was there and I was there and I didn't go there. Totally. It was stunning. It was absolutely beautiful. Two hours out, maybe an hour back, we actually probably made yeah. faster progress on the way back than out. Maybe, maybe my favorite glacier hike. Yeah, we had set aside the day to drive the eastern side mm -hmm. of the Going to the Sun Road, which we still hadn't done. Um, we got up again, we got up to Logan's Pass by about one. We didn't stop there this time. We did stop at the Jackson Glacier Overlook because Gypsy Dave recommended it, because there was parking, because there was a cool ranger there talking about grizzly bears. He had a grizzly bear skull right yeah. next to him and, and showed it to us. The east side of the Going to the Sun Road is a very different driving experience than the west side. It's shorter, the road isn't as curvy, it's wider. So there was a fire in 2015 on that side of the park. So the landscape looks very different. It's not barren or desolate or anything. The forest is coming back, but it's not as forested as on the west side. We did stop at the St. Mary's Visitor Center and checked out the um, park's orientation film and mm -hmm. we visited their gift shop and we looked at their displays. It's a nice visitor center there. But it was about a 2005 era film, yeah. had some dated things. Yeah. But what I was encouraged by was all the really cool sights that I saw in that film were things that we'd actually seen in person already. True. So I felt like we were already getting the most out of our glacier visit. <laughs> there's, there's a quail snail tip for you. Watch the welcome to the park video on your last day in the park and make sure you've done everything. One thing that uh, I saw at both the Apgar Visitor Center and the St. Mary's Visitor Center that we didn't actually get to do were the ranger-led astronomy talks. Those look pretty awesome. Right. They had what looked like a little astronomy uh, setup 
at the St. Mary's site. Yeah, if you've been to the Glacier Astronomy Talks, let us know in the comments. Going back, we decided to stop at the Sun Point Overlook, mm -hmm. which was a, a small drive off the going to the Sun Road, where we could then walk to the Bering Falls. Yep, the whole walk took us about a half an hour, I think, including the going out to the point and then going up to the first falls. A beautiful mountain with multiple, many glaciers. And we're doing the point six four. Pretty good view. Look at the colors of this rock. Looks like it's maybe full of copper or something. So we all took the opportunity to cool off at the falls. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed the natural air conditioning of the falls. And we could have walked to two more falls, but we decided not to. It was getting late in the day. We saw a lot of good waterfalls this trip. Yeah. So the trip of waterfalls. back in the car and finish our drive back up to Logan's Pass. At this point, I felt like we were getting close to the end of our Glacier National Park journey, and I did not feel like I had seen enough of bighorn sheep or mountain goats. It was a solo mom adventure. I took my camera and I walked just back out along that hidden lake trail. The snow had melted by then. There was a very obliging bighorn sheep literally posing for me right there, me and all the other tourists there. But uh, you, had the, you had the lens to catch him up close. I did. Perhaps too close. <laughs> <laughs> so that wraps up our time in Glacier. Is that the end of this video? I think it might be. Lemonade? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more about our time in Glacier, check out our first video. Also, if you want to learn about Yellowstone and Tetons, we have four videos about those, probably. Do you think we're going to have a video about the Central Oregon coast? I think we might have a video about kayaking on the Central Oregon coast. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Make sure that you have liked and subscribed. And uh, if you're ever on the Central Oregon coast, try some lavender lemonade. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. See ya.